<laughs> well, it's so disappointing, isn't it? You know what I do when I'm sitting in a dark theater, waiting for the show to begin? I pray. Oh, dear Lord, please let it be a good show. Oh, and let it be short. Lord in heaven, please. Two hours is fine, three hours is too much. Oh, oh and keep the actors out of the aisle. I didn't pay good money to have the fourth wall come crashing down around my ears. I just want a story and a few good songs that will take me away. I just want to be entertained. I mean, isn't that the point? <coughs> Amen. You know, there was a time when people sat in dark and features and they thought to themselves, what if George and Ira Gershwin got for us tonight? Or can Cole Porter pull it off again? Can you imagine? Now it's please, Elton John, must we continue this charade? <laughs> it used to be sitting there in the dark. You knew that when the show began, you'd be taken away to another world. A world full of music and color and glamour. And you thought to yourself, my God, when are they going to bring up the lights? Oh, how things have changed. Hello. 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 How are we this evening? Good. I'm feeling a little blue myself. You know, just a little anxious for no particular reason. And a little sad that I should be feeling anxious at this age. You know, just a little self-conscious anxiety resulting in a non-specific sadness. It's a that I call blue. But whenever I'm feeling this way, blue, I like to listen to my music. So, I was going through my records this morning. Uh, yes, records. <coughs> and what did I find for my copy of Fable and Science of Trousy Chaperone? <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Lyrics by Julie Gable, music by Sidney Stock. Well, it's a whole show with the original cast, including Beatrice Stockwell as a chaperone. Isn't she elegant? And this is the full 15 years before she became dating Beatrice Stockwell. Oh, well, let me read what it says in the back. It says, <clears throat> Mix us, mayhem, and a gay wedding. A fun one, that is. <laughs> that's, that's just what this show is. It's fun. So what do you want? Would you indulge me? Will you let me play the record for you? I was hoping you would say yes.
It's a miracle, madam. My dress, my dress, my fancy dress. I don't know why I'm wearing it. I must confess. My dress, my dress, I love my dress. Would someone tell me why I put it on? Yes, yes, your dress, your fancy dress. It was such a pleasure tearing it, restitching and repairing it. God bless your dress, it's one fine dress. And I will tell you why you put it on. When the bells will ring, when the bells will chime, Madam, you're the hostess and it's happy wedding time. When the bells will ding, when the bells will go, when the bells will ding,
Oh, no. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to lead you through this show as best I can. Don't worry, it won't be hard to follow. So, we begin with a welcome from the Love Struck crew. Oh! Are 
answered by the supposedly interchangeable Waldo duo, the Tall Cousins, John and Elizabeth Tall. They were an early example of a typical Broadway gangster, full of wordplay and stylized movements, not very intimidating. Well, unless you find dancers intimidating, which I do, but for reasons that would not be appropriate to this situation. <laughs> We'll leave the matter in your hands, Mr. Felsing. In the meantime, feel free to browse a dessert carousel. Try the Toledo Surprise. It's to die for. <laughs> Cold feet. What do I got? Cold. 